Hey everyone, a nerd named Mark here, and I'm doing a new video today. Let me close that. Uh, I want to show off, it's nanoblock related, but I wanted to show off this cool nanoblock pad that I got on Amazon Japan. I'll put the link below, uh, do a quick unboxing. So, one of the things about nanoblocks, if you've seen all my videos, uh, I don't really show building them from start to finish, uh, because time consuming of filming and editing i do more showcases after they're built and now i've kind of modified it so you could see the incremental steps of building them uh one of the things i really wanted because when you start off you got to put multiple bricks on the first layer and then you got to add to it and they kind of slide around so i was researching researching and then on amazon japan i saw this whole nanoblock pad and if you could see really quick so it has a little spot up top to hold all the pieces and then down here it's the same nanoblock pattern to kind of hold them in place while you build them and i was like you know what i think this is about 1100 yen so about around ten dollars us um so it finally arrived today with some of my common rider stuff and i was like you know what i want to do a review for this i want to show this off and how it works so i'm gonna be showing it off making mazinger z because these ones are they're they're more difficult to build and I figured this will really show off how good the product is. So we're going to move over to my workstation over here. I'm going to open this up and show you what comes with it, what it's like, because I'm surprised. Also, the tear in the box is from me doing that. That did not come damaged at all. Uh, I've had no issues with any shipping or quality of packaging with anything I've ordered from Amazon Japan. I do plan on making a video going over all the different places I order stuff, whether it's online or in-person retails for finding things like Nanoblocks, Kamen Rider, Ultraman, all that stuff. I just figured I'd make an updated video because I've talked about it in the past, but I've never really fleshed it out into a video showing everything. So let's uh, just, just switch over here and yeah, we'll open this bad boy up and we'll start showing it off building Mazinger Z. Okay, so right off the bat, very easy. Just came out in a little plastic container. I like that little Nanoblock. It's rubber, by the way. Like, I thought it was plastic. Also, it's picking up all the dirt from my cutting mat. But it's rubber, which is nice. So that means when I have all my pieces up here, down here, you're able to bend it. And they're not as deep. So you can remove the figure very easily. I like that. That is convenient. And that is a cool feature of this. Here's a more close-up of the box. You know, so it's... 142 millimeters long, 90 millimeters wide. Not bad. Obviously, bricks and tweezers not included. The tweezers are like 600 yen. Um, you know, where I go to get my nano block stuff, they were giving me one free pair of tweezers with every, I believe, $15 purchased. So I have a bunch of extra tweezers right now. That's only a few from my last visit. But yeah, so I'm going to start. Let's crack the Zinger Z open. I'll get a little bit into it so I can show you guys how that works and how this mat is performing. Okay, so uh, started the Zinger. I'm actually on step three. I'm not going to show building the whole entire thing. That's going to be a separate video for the showcase. But so the front pad area up here does not hold a lot. Like there's still, I still have almost five bags full of nano blocks left. That, so it's already full. I can't put them all in there. Now, if it was something like the Pokemon ones I've built or the Dragon Ball Z ones, this would be perfect for the smaller, like, these styles, like the bag style. But whereas, you know, this Mazinger Z has 370 pieces, so it's not going to hold a lot. But the cool thing is, because it's rubber, and yeah, it's indented, as you can see. Hold on, let me focus. There you go. It's indented. The cool thing is, it's holding everything in place, but you can still just pick it up, put it back. It's held where it needs to be. No moving. It's locked in there, which is cool, but you could easily just pick it up. So this is, I'm going to say if you're building nano blocks, this is a necessity to have. This makes things, because this is my, Mazinger Z is going to be my 12th nano block set I've built. And I will say that this definitely, I wish I bought this sooner. I'm glad I bought it. If you're thinking about getting into nano blocks or you just started getting into them, it's well worth it. Just go to Amazon Japan, 
add it to cart, check out, buy it. This is going to save so much frustration, especially starting out when you're building the like the base layer stuff where you have to line up a lot of things. But also, it's nice because it kind of holds everything in place, especially if I'm building, like I said, the Pokemon ones or the Dragon Ball Z ones. All, all the pieces will fit up there. But yeah, let's, uh, so that's it for like the showcase. I'm going to get my final thoughts and everything else really quickly. So let's switch back over to the other view. All right. So as like, this thing is so good. I'm just going to go out and say it like this. If you're into nano blocks or you're about to get into nano blocks, take the time, go to Amazon, Japan, purchase one of these nano block pads. They, it, it, the, because with me, like, especially when you're starting out and you have to have a lot of them, even in the photo shows you, you got to start the base with like a whole bunch of blocks that's lined up together. They slide around a lot. They're tiny. So this also catches them if you drop one or it slides when you're trying to, it's convenient. And for the price, like I said, you can't beat it. I'm going to put the link in the description below. So you can go on Amazon Japan to pick one up. I'm sure you can find them elsewhere, probably on like eBay or a reseller or hobby link. I, I don't know where else you can find them. I got mine on Amazon Japan. Um, for nanoblocks themselves, uh, I order some on Amazon Japan. There are some on Amazon US also. Uh, Bluefin carries them now too. You can check out bluefin.com or they do have the page on Amazon for Bluefin also. And you can see all their stuff. They have a lot of the Pokemon Dragon Ball Z ones. I do believe they're going to be releasing the Ultraman Mini Nanos, which I haven't gotten into the Mini Nanos yet. I may. I don't know. I'm really liking the regular Nanos and then things like... You know, Great Mazinger, Mazinger Z, these style ones where the box turns into like a showcase for it. That's really, like, I enjoy that. They even did one for Dragon Ball Z, for a Goku with a Kamehameha wave. They have My Hero ones now. There's just, there's Common Rider ones. So obviously, you know, I already have a box somewhere on the way full of Nanoblock Common Rider stuff. There's a lot to them. Uh, Bluefin is really doing good at bringing stuff to America. I don't know what else they're going to be bringing down the pipeline. I, like I said, no affiliation. I just like to plug them because they're doing a great job. And yeah, so I'm going to put the link below. Definitely check this out. If you like all my other Nanoblock videos, subscribe to the channel. Go check out some of the other ones I have. Uh, once I finish the Mazinger Z, that's going to be 12 total showcase videos. This video is going to go up before a few of the other showcases because I bulk recorded a lot of them because I just sit down and I'll make like three or four in one night. Um, I'm also going to do a video going over my display that you can kind of subtly see behind me. Um, the display is really nice. Um, I'll put a link for that. I found it on Amazon and it's it's actually perfect for Nanoblox. Like I was shocked. I was like, well, it might work. I got it. I built it. And I was like, this is the Nanoblox showcase like display case it is a necessity but i thank you guys for watching if you are into nanoblocks comment below let me know what you've been building what you plan on building are there anything you're excited for um i've got a lot more that i need to build even after missing is like probably realistically before november's over i'm gonna probably reach over 20 nanoblocks like done and filmed um i plan on making a lot more i have a full Dragon ball z set on the way i have the common rider ones on the way I have some more Pokemon ones. Like, there's a lot. So, I'm actually really excited. Uh, it's something new I'm trying, not just for the channel, but in general. Like, I love Legos, but they're expensive. They're bulky. And there's something very nice about Nanoblocks that I enjoy. So, with that being said, I thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. And, yeah, that's it.